Hello everyone. Uh, this is our sixth lecture and in this lecture we are going to study how effective is foreign aid. Foreign aid is a controversial is like foreign aid is a controversial in development economics. Uh, three distinct camps may be distinguished this okay. One believes that official assistance is ineffective and has harmed poor countries throughout the year. This view of official aid has created depend dependency, fostering corporation co corruption and encouraging currency overvaluation. Easterly 2014 and Mayo in 2010 said that it also prevents countries from taking advantages of other opportunities provided by the global economy. Another camp believes that the aid level have been too low and that large increase would help to reduce poverty. This camp, however, believes that we are rethinking on the way in which the aid is provided. Sachs in 2009 said that, uh, in particular specific in inter-interventions such as anti-malaria programs should be emphasized. The third camp is less vocal and includes authors such as Collier 2007 who has emphasized that role in a number of traps in in perpetuating distinguish and ben Benri and Banerjee and Banerjee 2011 who argued that that the use of randomized controlled trial may be diverse effect and specific aid program in the war against poverty and underdevelopment aid policies from a historical perspective foreign aid is relatively new concept in economy the classics smith Ri, smith richardo and sort mill and sort mill for example didn't address the subject in any significant way any classical economist through that the colonies would catch up and even surpass the home country quite rapid Adam Smith provides a detailed discussion on the causes of poverty in the new colonies. The first legal study, the first legal, the first legal status dealing expressly with official aid was passed by Parliament in UK in 1929. In 1940 and 1945, new laws dealing with aids to the colonies were passed in UK. These acts increased the amount of funds available and made commit commitment for a longer period of time for up to 10 years in colonial development and where well act in 40, 1945. More important, the act of 1945 established that the aid plan has to be prepared in constitution with risk representative of local population in the u.s the first law dealing with foreign assistance came late with the adoption of marshall plan in 1948 in this speech on 20 january 1949 the so-called four-point speech President Harry Tur 
Harry Turman put forward the first time the idea that aid to poor nation was an important component to U.S. foreign policy. He said that one of the goals of his administ administration would be foster foster growth of developed areas. In spite of Turman's vehement allocation aid, commitment to poor countries were considered temporary. In 1953, when Congress, when Congress extended the Mutual Security Act, it ex It explicitly stated that economic aid to U.S. alliance would even would would end in two years. Military aid was to come to the to the halt in three years. In early 1960s, and largely as a result of its calculation of Cold War, the U.S. revised its posture regarding bilateral assistance and jointly with the evidence secure ev evidenced country founded the development assistant committee at the newly formed organization for economic cooperation and development the main objective of dac corporate development or dac DAC, DAC is a development assistance community and countries to be coordinate to coordinate the poorest country foreign aid and policies foreign aid policies and economics economic research has helped has helped shape in international aid policies during 1950s and 1960s aid agencies work was influenced by Harrod Dormer growth model by W Arthur Lewis Un unlimited supply of labor model as a result more agencies funded very large capital in incentive project and neglected policies project and programs related to labor human capital and productivity this change in late 1960s and 1970s with the assistance of solo negotiation neoclassical model of growth and the development of the basic need approach to to welfare economics aid policies change focus and a higher percentage of funds were devoted to a social program programs aimed at directly reducing poverty and programs that strengthen skills and human capital Further changes in aid policy came with research that related openness to export expansion to productivity growth. The work of Anne Kruger and Jadesh Bhagwanti, particularly important. During 1980s and 1990s, international assistance became increasingly conditioned on the recipient countries liberalizing their economy through the elimination of quantitative import restriction and lowering the important tariffs. Further changes in aid policy came with research that related openness to export expansion to productivity growth. The work of
sorry this i have already told you before uh, so now i'm going to tell you the depend about a uh, dependent economy the development of dependent economy micro uh, economist model with the trade with with the tradable and non tradable goods in late 1970s and early 1980s helped helped put emphasizing on on crucial role of the real exchange rate in resource allocating process work by robert mundell rudy dornbush and other pointed that real exchange rate over valuation was costly and the heart of devastating devast devastating currency issues studies econometric studies Academic and aid community economists have used a battery of economic econometric method to analyze whether aid is affected in the sense of generating higher growth and better economic outcomes. Some of these studies have tried to tackle issues of reverse causality and have used a series of instruments some more convincing than others in an impact to deal with the fact that slower growth in poor in very poor countries may attract additional aid some research focus on whether aid only works under certain conditions or whether an minimal degree of institutional development is required for international assistance to bear fruit many of these studies have considered non linear functional forms have investigating in their are meaningful interactions between aids and other variables such as degree of literacy the level of corruption the extent of microeconomic stability the institutional strength the quality of overall economic policies and geography intermediate uh, intermediate position for an for an increasing number of economists the issue of aid effectiveness is either black or white indeed a number of authors have taken intermediate positions for example in an influential book that de that deals with the pledged of poorest of the poor Collier in 2009 has argued that has argued that both critics and stationed sports supporters of official aid have greatly exaggerated their claims and distorted the empirical and historical record Collier's reading of the evidence is that over over the last 30 years of official is assistance has helped accelerate gdp growth among the poorest nation in the world most of them in africa by approximately 1% per year the it it is a non trivial figure especially when one consider that during this period the poorest countries have have had a aggregate rate of per capita growth of 0 that is 
in the absence on official assistance the billion people that live in these nations the so-called bottom billion would have been seen in their incomes Regro retro retrogress year retrogress year after year